All right, so today I'm going to be demonstrating booting Windows from the Netboot XYZ uh, Pixie system. Uh, we got to do a few steps first. So for example, I've already created the base of the Windows pre-installation environment, but we need to make some modifications to our start net. So we're going to mount the image. And once this is mounted, we need to make some changes in our start net file. All right, so that's mounted. Let's go ahead and open the file and we can see it here. And so you can see what I'm doing here. First, I'm bypassing the Windows 11 requirements uh, via the registry, which are the secure boot TPM and CPU. I do meet the CPU requirements uh, and the secure boot, but I don't have a TPM 2.0, so we're just gonna skip it. Uh, I also have other systems in the house that may or may not meet these requirements and I don't wanna have to deal with that. Uh, WP in it enables networking then I'm gonna mount the location where my Windows 11 install media is. This right here was originally to go ahead and format or uh, set the partition to be GPT as opposed to MBR, uh, but I'm gonna do that in the unattend file. So we're gonna delete that and pop in our unattend here. I'll show you the unattend in a second. So you can see here, I'm setting things to ENUS. This is just for computers in my home. Uh, all of them are AMD 64 and of course in the US. We're gonna set where we're gonna install Windows to which is partition three. You can see here we're following the new requirements or new recommendations for partitioning. So our EFI size is gonna be 260 megs. And then we're gonna take our primary partition and shrink it to give us a 984 meg recovery partition which goes at the end so it can be expanded as necessary in the future uh, for upgrades and such. Then I set my international core, my standard time, things like that. So let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm gonna pause, uh, oop, I'm not gonna pause yet. Let's unmount this image now that we've created it. And once it's unmounted, we'll go ahead and create the file. And I just use a separate window for that. So you can see here, make WinPE media. I'm just gonna create that file. And on the other screen, I'm gonna copy that stuff over and then we'll go to my next steps. And by. And now I'll go on the Linux box and we need to do things to make it available to netboot.xyz. So first, I'm gonna mount it to my temp folder. Then I'm gonna copy all those files. Now let's unmount it. And now we're gonna swap over to our VMRC and show the VM booting up. 